Okay, let's talk about how we could use a while loop to get input from the user more than once. So I've got a list that uh, has some names in it here already. And let's say my program needs to allow the user to enter new names to the list, but we don't know how many names the user wants to enter. Um, so it's going to allow them to, to say whether they want to keep entering names or not. So we need to use a while loop, a conditional loop, because we don't know how many names they want to enter. So here's my condition. It's that enter name equals one. And so in order to get it to enter this while loop the first time, I need to set that variable here. So I define the variable and I set it to one so that this condition is true and the program enters the while loop. The first thing I'll do is ask for the new name. Please enter the new name. I will append it to the list. I will print out the new name and the, you know, just the phrase added to list just for confirmation. And then I need to ask this question. This is the most important part here. I need to make sure that um, they want to enter another name. Uh, or if they don't, that I change the value of this variable enter name so that this condition is no longer true so that it breaks out of the while loop. Right? And so that's what's happening here. I'm asking, do you want to enter another name? One for yes, two for no. Really, it could be anything. It doesn't have to be two. It could be anything besides one that would cause this to not be true. Um, and I typecast it here to an integer just because here it's an int. Uh, do remember though that if what they enter is not numeric, it would break your program here. So uh, potentially a safer way to do this, actually I'll just change it. I'll make it a string instead of an integer. Maybe a safer way to do it. If I put quotes around it, now it's a string and now I don't need to bother with uh, making it an int integer here and it won't break the program. Um, and then finally, after the while loop, it just prints the names. So here's what it's gonna look like. I'll run it for you. So new name, hatch, okay, hatch added to list. You wanna enter another name? Yes, ABC, ABC added to list. You wanna enter another name? And if I'm done, I can push two or anything else and it will break out of the while loop. And then it runs this last line here, print names. And that's where we get that whole list there.